everyone. We are back with ICSC Recon 2018 live from the Cushman and Wakefield booth. We're at C1339 in the central hall of the Las Vegas Convention Center yesterday, today, and tomorrow for three wonderful days of deal making for ICSC Recon. I'm Alana Leffler, Head of Retail Marketing for the Americas Platform. And with us today is Mitzi Flexer, Director of Retail Services for Brooklyn and the Outer Boroughs. Hey, Mitzi. Hi, Alana. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Busy. Tired. <laughs> Tired. Tired. Are you enjoying your time in Vegas? I am. Um, I love Vegas. So, you know, it's a nice little break. Yeah. And are you taking advantage of all the people that are here? I think we have 35,000 people convention this year so lots of heads and, and new faces I'm sure. Lots of faces, lots of new names and you know it's actually um, it's I'm really taking advantage of you know the just walking the booths and walking around and meeting people I mean a lot of good stuff is happening. That's great I mean everybody says this conference is what you make of it and the more you can get out there meet new people make new contacts can only help your business can only help you grow on every front. I agree. I agree. So let's talk about Brooklyn retail. Oh, Brooklyn. <laughs> Everyone loves Brooklyn. Everybody <laughs> does love Brooklyn. It is like the hottest place in New York right now. I mean, all the retailers are flocking there. It's like they know they have to be in Manhattan, but they know that they need to be in Brooklyn now. Yeah, uh, and it's really, you know, this whole idea of Brooklyn as a brand and Brooklyn, mm -hmm. the you know, the hottest place to be and where people want to go. Um, I mean, I have had so many meetings today because people just want to talk about Brooklyn. They want to talk about the streets. They want to talk about the development. So, yeah, yeah Brooklyn's great. I'm, I'm lucky. I'm a lucky person right now. I'm a lucky broker right now. Yeah, I'm sure. I feel like that's the buzzword. And when they hear that you're from Brooklyn and you know so much about the market, they want to they want to hear what you have to say. So, so let's talk about what are the biggest streets in Brooklyn that retailers are flocking to? So I would say, rather than streets, let's talk about the neighborhoods that retailers are flocking sure. to. Um, Dumbo is on the map, Borough Hill, downtown Brooklyn, some Williamsburg, of course, right? And then, you know, uh, East Williamsburg, Greenpoint. And, you know, if we want to get more granular, we talk about the streets, you know, Smith Street, Court Street, Bedford Avenue, North 6th, North 8th, yeah. and Grand, you know, Grand Avenue. These are all kind of very robust and busy. Um, neighborhoods and streets. And what type of new concepts are you seeing coming to these streets? You know, it's really interesting. So what I'm seeing anyway, or what's coming on coming in front of me or that's passing by me are a lot of international tenants. And this is something we've talked about before right. for a long time. A lot of international tenants are kind of doing this, doing this brick to mortar, uh, uh, clicks to bricks, yep. right? So let's say they had a website and you know, and their website was doing tons of business. They're actually taking that metric to locate places in Brooklyn where they want to be. So yeah. a lot of the calls I'm getting, I'm getting from these tenants are, hey, you know, I was looking at my analytics, I was looking at my metrics, and yeah. I'm realizing that I need to open a brick and mortar store on this street, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in Brooklyn, and I need to be there because that's where my consumer base is. So I'm getting a lot of that, and those are the kind of tenants that I, and myself, I'm experiencing in the market right. and we're working with. Right, and we're definitely seeing big data as a trend, you know, with emerging retailers and digitally native retailers coming to the bricks and mortar space. They're analyzing their back-end technology, they're looking at their metrics, and it's helping them with their risk assessments, it's helping them with their location and site selections. Um, so that's really interesting. What about um, advice that you would give to a new broker that's looking make their mark in Brooklyn. What would you, what's your, what's your little secret that you would say to them when they would be coming on board? So I don't really want to give them the secret sauce, but <laughs> <laughs> what I That's would- That's yours to keep, I think, yeah. right? But what I would tell them is move to Brooklyn or move to the outer boroughs, live there for at least six months, mm -hmm. canvas, walk your streets, figure out what people, what their habits are, where they're shopping, where they're walking, what's needed. And once you understand that and you're new in the business you decide you want to take the plunge and come to the outer boroughs once you can do that you're you're now a, you know you're more valuable to your tenant or to your client because they know they don't know brooklyn as well as they know manhattan or some of the bigger cities so if you can say hey i i live on that block i walk that street i know what's needed here or i know you should be here that's it's really about having um 
street knowledge, being the boots on the ground, and really understanding where you live and who the people are in your neighborhood. Well, great insights, Mitzi. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thanks for joining us and check back throughout the day where we'll be Facebooking live to you from ICSC Recon 2018. Thanks, Alana.